haven't been in the garden for about two or three weeks, so things have got out of hand a bit, and uh, we're way behind on usual. There's uh, life at work. This is work. Horrible shirt too. A uh, little bright for a Sunday afternoon, but life at work has been tough, so I have been ignoring the garden. Uh, unlike my neighbor who's currently leaf blowing his driveway and creating a pall of dust, which you might be able to see, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but anyway, so it's Sunday afternoon and I'm weeding, and what I'm doing here is uh, I've got these bachelor buttons which are self sown. Uh, and every year they seed themselves and every year I clean out a row and then I dig them up and I put them in a neat and tidy row and they're pretty, they're nice and we can pick them and bring them into the house uh, but first of all you have to prepare the bed and to do that I'm taking out there's some vetch in here, there's clover, there's grass there's this, I can't remember what this is called there's this little funky thing that, uh, a lot of them sort of spread like a carpet they're, once you've disturbed the ground, they're very easy to pull out. You just the ground is so soft because we've been digging it for so many years that you just literally just have to disturb it gently with a fork, and the roots come out pretty easily on the whole. You do want to get the roots out, and. Uh, I can do, the nice thing about these raised beds that I was telling you about the last time we had this conversation was that these are about 28 feet long, so if you do one row you feel good about yourself and it doesn't take too long, whereas if I had like a 60 foot row going this way it would be interminable and I would die and cry a lot. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm doing here is taking these weeds out, obviously the weeds if you don't take them out, they take over and they crowd out any young plants that you're planting. Uh, and they're using up nutrients as well. So you, And of course they look unsightly. Lots of people hate weeds. I'm not too fond of them, but on the other hand I don't hate them with a the loathing. They're kind of pretty, some of them. Uh, but they are taking valuable nutrients out of the soil and they're competing with the plants that we're growing for food. So unfortunately they have to come out. So the nice thing about this raised bed system is you go down one row and you do half of one and half of the one beside it and then you turn around and you work your way back down the other side so you're effectively every pass you're doing um, you know two halves make a hole, one row. Uh, so it's kind of nice, kind of neat. Uh, so now this is um, this is a half weeded row and when I've cleaned out that side I'll run the tiller down it and then I'll move these bachelor buttons down the centre of this uh, and then I'll move on to that row over there and weed that out. But it's late on Sunday afternoon and my wife took me on a run this morning. She's into running big time and uh, we went on a six mile run yesterday and a six run, uh, mile run today and I'm completely exhausted. <laughs> so uh, anyway, not the most exciting of, uh, of events weeding, but unfortunately it has to be done. Um, once I finish this, I'll go down the other side and uh, weed that side and then I'll move the bachelor buttons um, so they're in a nice row. Look at this. Look at these rocks. They're like big old potatoes. We still get them years after we started. Oh, and there's a brick. <laughs> Stuff we find in here. Scary. There we go. He's finished leaf blind. Peace at last. <laughs>